Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Kubo, and today I'm going to talk about one of the most overlooked and awesome features of Google Chrome that a lot of people may not be aware of, right? And what I'm talking about is specifically being able to create personal desktop icons for websites that you normally visit. So um, while I'm downloading Google Chrome here, actually let me get it going and installing here real quick. And then once we get to the desktop, I'll show you exactly what I mean and how awesome this feature is. Uh, that was a, just a pop-up for uh, Chrome asking me whether I want to install it. See all these icons that I have, for example, for Audacity, Control Panel, Firefox, OpenOffice, and Skype. Well, guess what? Um, you can create these same type of icons for each website that you use. For example, let's say you go to your favorite email uh, provider. Let's say you go to Gmail. You can create that specific shortcut to that Gmail account without you having to open up your browser each time. You know, go to you know, go to your bookmark, or even type it in Google and clicking Gmail, and this and that. You can create an icon that would simply state here. It would called it would just say Gmail, right? So that's really awesome and handy because you can have a list of different icons on your desktop for all the things that you use the most while you're browsing the internet. And of course, I find that very useful because I have so many things that I access on daily basis, whether it's multiple email providers, whether it's Facebook, whether it's Twitter, whether it's, of course, my YouTube channel, whether it's uh, anything else that I access, which are so many things that at this point I can't even uh, remember entirely. And the reason I didn't have Chrome installed on this computer is because this is a laptop that I mainly use on the go, and it's not very powerful, to be honest, and Google Chrome tends to, uh, tends to be uh, resource intensive. So for this demonstration, I will go ahead and obviously, well, you can see that I'm installing it right now, just so, I, just so I can demonstrate this to you. But that's the only reason I don't have Google Chrome already installed. But either way, this is a good way to kind of see Google Chrome installation as a, a bonus uh, feature of this video, I suppose, right? It's almost done here. And once it's done, we'll go ahead and go and, and visit Facebook first, and maybe a couple other ones, and then we'll create these awesome awesome desktop icons that will make this easy. Again, especially if you're logging into random websites that you need to access, whether it's some kind of a, you know, like I said, email, whether it's a, you know, some kind of a business account, uh, you know, uh, PayPal or whatever, you can create these shortcuts on your desktop that will take you there instantly. Of course, you have to have cookies enabled in order to have automatic sign-in into your accounts, otherwise you will have to log in into each one of them. But this is something you can certainly set up and, oh man, it makes your life so much easier, especially if you're visiting a lot of a lot of uh, different stuff. It's almost done here, and uh, you can see how my computer is, this laptop, I should say, and it's not incredibly fast, and, uh, okay, well, we got it installed, so let me just go visit, uh, uh, well, I was going to type in Facebook, Facebook.com. And once we get there, I will create this awesome icon that we need. Okay, so here we are. This is the uh, Facebook.com, obviously. Uh, on the right hand side, towards the, towards the, the top of your browser, there are these three dots, sort of like a column dots, right next to your little star for a bookmark. We're going to go ahead and just click these three dots. Then we're going to go to more tools, and then we're going to select add to desktop. Okay. And then you can select that. This is another feature that I really like. You can select it so it opens up as a window. So you will have a separate session of this, if you will. And it's kind of neat because you won't have anything else around here once you open it. So, okay, I'm going to go ahead and close it here. And here's your Facebook icon, right? So once I double click, it's going to open it up as its own window, which is, uh, which is really, really awesome. I really like this. Oh boy, it's so slow. <laughs> Now you can see, now you, this, this just kind of goes, goes to show. Uh, but see, if you already logged in and you have cookies enabled, this and that, this, you, you will be directly logged into Facebook at this 
point. So next time you can just click this icon and it will take you to Facebook directly. Let's try something else. Let's try a, an email provider. Okay, come on now. <laughs> All right, let's go to Yahoo since I had it typed in earlier. Yahoo. And uh, here we go. I want to click mail. And I'm going to do the same thing. The three dots on the right hand side. Go all the way down to more tools. And then select add to desktop. Okay. See, now we have our Yahoo login. Now let's do that with Google. Gmail. Let's do Gmail. Okay. Go to three dots, more tools, at the desktop. And now let's go to YouTube. We when, we go, when we go to the YouTube, we can do the same thing. Click on the three dots, go to more tools, and select add to desktop. Once we move this here, we double click YouTube and it will take us to our YouTube. But then again, I, I mean, I do realize this is, this is essentially creating shortcuts, which you can certainly do by right clicking on your desktop, select new, create shortcut, you know, type in HTTP or S, you know, whatever's more convenient for you, youtube.com, select next, call it YouTube. As you can see, there's just more work and it will just give you a shortcut called YouTube, you know? And then, you know, you, you, you get into this thing where it just thinks it's, it's a regular internet shortcut. While with these type of icons, you can literally specify for it to go directly to where you need it, wherever you logged in, where you left off. I find this incredibly useful and I hope you guys do too. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you like my videos, please subscribe. I will have more videos in the future. And thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.